Hello, welcome to another edition of the All for the Culture podcast and YouTube show. This is your host, the Hip Hop Handicap, and I'm here with a special guest out of Fourth Ward, Texas, uh, Boo Gotti Casino. Wow, 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 hood fame. From hood fame. How you doing, oh, man? For real, man. You know, man, taking it one day at a time, man. That's good, man. Trying That's to reach good. a billion. Trying to reach a billion. Yeah. We're going to get there one day. We both going to get there one day. I know yeah, that. Man, it got to come, man. They I know that. It got to come, man. It's on its way. So uh, let's talk about, I want to start, you know, I like to start from the beginning with, with everybody that we interview. So uh, talk to us about your childhood and where you grew up and how you grew up. I grew up, man, in a small town from Fort Worth, Texas, man. It's probably like 30 minutes outside of Dallas. Yeah. See, and I grew up like in a poor neighborhood. Okay. Lost my mama when I was 13. She had been in and out of jail since I'd been 11. Damn, do you mind if I ask how you lost your mama? Nah, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, she, she just had a natural death. That's what they call it. She oh. had died in her sleep. Oh, One day wow. she went to sleep and she just didn't wake back up. But shit, I, I was locked up. I was incarcerated. As a matter of fact, I was locked up. I was locked up. Hey, Damn, yeah. Sorry they let me that. go to her funeral and shit, though. Her weight and shit. You know what I'm saying? But she, yeah, man, I, I, I done had a hard life, man. I done had a hard life. I'm talking about, uh, shit. After that, I came home to my mama gone. Had to stay with my granny. And then, how old that situation that make it no better. I was uh, when I was thirteen when I left. I was like fourteen, going on fifteen when I came home. Oh, okay, 15. okay. And you were living with your grandmother, and grandfather. Right. right. I was living with my granny. Yeah. My oh, grandfather. In, in Fort Worth. Yeah, in Fort Worth. Oh, okay. What made it so fucked up is when I came home, my granny had moved to a neighborhood that she knowing they don't like me. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they neighborhood don't like my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, cause, wow. Cause you know what I'm saying. The different type of ears we from. So shit, when I came over there, it was just it was fucked up. It was fucked up. So man, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to these niggas' schools and shit. I'm goddamn me 14. I gotta take a thook of the school and shit and my backpack and shit. Hey, yeah, all that shit. I'm talking about go up there, get into it with them niggas. Yeah, they goddamn me get scared. They telling the teachers and shit. He got a gun. He got a thook. All this whole ass shit, man. I gotta run That's out of school. Crazy. All kind of crazy shit, man. See, I I'm crazy, from man. I'm from here, like where, where you see right here, Sugarland. I'm from right. Sugarland. So right. I, I don't know nothing. I always tell people I don't like to like front like I'm from somewhere. I'm not. You know, I, I, I really hate when people do that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I really hate. Like I'm proud to be where I'm from, right? right? And for you to say that you grew up somewhere where you had to be you had to be dodging people every day. Yeah, yeah. It it really God, like damn must and be then, stressful you know, as fuck. You know, I I was the type to like Yo E. I like pictures? I was the type to like I'm not the baddest motherfucker in the world. I'm not That's the baddest me. nigga in the world, but I wasn't never scared of nothing. Like, I ain't never really just too much fear of nothing but God. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, nigga approached me. It's like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but after a while, though, like, as I'm getting older now, I done got older, it's like, I can go right back to the neighborhood right now, and they treat me like, you know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? Like, they fuck um, with me because I done earned my respect out there so much. We yeah. fought and shit so much and shot at each other so much yeah. to the point where they like, you know what I'm saying? He a real one, you know what I'm saying? So I earned a lot of respect over that, man. So they just realized, like, like you going to stand up for yourself. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just realized yeah, that. Yeah, All right. They, yeah, they, All right. Yeah. So, uh, like, so talk about you in school. I mean, you did, did you do... How, how oh, were you in man. school as a, as a kid? I ain't even make it past Trouble eighth maker? grade. Hell yeah, yeah, man. Troublemaker. I see. I barely just go to school. Half the time I went to school, I went to school for the hoes. That's it. <laughs> for the skin dogs. That's it. I was with school. And shit. Yeah. I really didn't used to do no work. I used to have hoes doing my work. I used to have females doing my shit. You know what I'm saying? I was so popular because it's like I'm a whole op at their school. Like I'm the only motherfucker from this school. From another side of town, from the other side of town. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, believe it or not, females like this shit. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you, when you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You, the eyes, man, it's like females like this shit. They used to hate this shit. All they females just want to fuck with me. I used to have them doing my homework, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? My work and shit. And I be gone, huh? There was a teacher knowing I ain't did this shit. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? But shit. Well, <laughs> she man, knows you ain't do it. Nah, for real. You don't need to take the motherfucker yeah. shit. I know how that is. I was half homeschool, half regular school because of, of my sickness. So, right. yeah, I had, I had my kind of shit kind of easy, too. Um, right. So, that lead me into my next question. If you weren't rapping, what you think? What, what you think you'd be doing then? I ain't gonna lie, thing rapping saved my life. That's what you Just to be real, not not. I'm saying far as like the streets and me getting locked up and shit like that, cause it's like now, 
like with rapping, it's starting to make me successful. You see what I'm saying? It's starting yeah. to make me a better, a better man. Cause she, I'm not gonna lie, like with my record and shit, like the shit that I be doing and shit is like if I wasn't rapping, I know I ain't. I, ain't for, I be damn if I go get a job. I ain't yeah. finna get no job. It's like you know what I'm saying. I really don't like listening to other motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be on some shit. My mind frame I always being shit. My T John dead. It was my mama dead. I ain't fuck you, nigga. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? My mama don't even tell me what to do, nigga. Fuck I'm listening to you. But if I wasn't rapping, I know I'd probably be in the streets. Still jacking people, yeah. robbing people, selling dope. You know what I'm saying? In and out of jail. I, yeah, in and yeah. out of jail. You know, I'm like, like, when I be saying I'm the street nigga, like the real definition of the street nigga, like I be doing anything that gotta do with the streets, like far as yeah. in my neighborhood. If if a robber nigga, you know what I'm saying? If it's some robbing going on, I'm robbing. If it's some goddamn me selling dope going on, I'm trapping. If it's goddamn me whatever finessing going on, I'm finessing. You know what I'm saying? Just see, he, you know what I mean? So that rap shit saved my life because it's like this shit, I can do this shit and get, get this culture saved me. your yeah, life. Yeah, culture, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think this culture saved so many lives. Like, it doesn't get it doesn't get the respect it, it, it deserves for saving so many lives. Cause right. you think about it, how, hip hop saved a lot, a lot of yeah, lives. For real, man. Just for the people that are involved in all the different aspects, plus the people who use it to get through shit. Right. Like I did, you know. So um, that leads me into why why do you why why you love this culture? What made you fall in love with writing music, writing raps, and and being an artist and and doing that? See. The way I came up is like when I was growing up and shit, like now it's like music done changed a lot. You know what I'm saying? It done changed a whole lot. But me coming up and listening to the motherfuckers who inspired me and I'm listening to who I listen to, like my definition of rap come from like, I feel like hip hop and rap was made for motherfuckers who from like the struggle, like really had nothing. Like they stay way out of the struggle. They stay way out of their hood. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. without, you know what I'm saying, doing crazy shit. So it, it be like, on some shit like yeah. they tell real life stories or really go on how they really living versus a motherfucker who just get in the camera and dance and just talk shit. It's like, so I feel like shit, with all the shit going on and how I've been living, I feel like shit, I do the same shit. And I tell my story, you know what I'm saying? Let people hear my side of the story, man. You know what I'm saying? And shit, that's how I fell in love with this shit. It's like shit, that shit been all my life. It's just I've been in and out of jail so motherfucking much I couldn't really just pursue it. Like, I used to write and shit, you know what I'm saying, little raps and shit. In jail? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, but shit, now it's to the point where I done got so good at this shit, I don't even write no more. I don't write, I don't write. everything I do now, I just freestyle. I don't you write do shit. The, you, go in the, you go in the booth, do four, do you do four bars and then? It depends. Sometimes I probably do like, shit, six bars. Sometimes I do four bars. But shit. you punch it in. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. But it be some of them days where like, sometimes I be feeling so good or like my mind, like I zone out so much to the point where I done did like a whole 16 without even fucking up, just all the way through. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas like, damn, you freestyle the show. I'm like, yeah, that's how I freestyle. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So hell yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, what do you, what were your, uh, what were your early influences and uh, who'd you like listening to growing up as a kid? Well, I like listening to growing up as a kid. See, like I say, rap had Well, if you don't mind so, me asking, how old are you first? I'm, I'm, I just turned 26 yesterday. You in 26. I oh, okay, 26 so about the same age. You about the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, like I say, man, it's it's like I done had, I ain't, I ain't going to say a lot of different favorite rappers because I only had like one favorite rapper that I find. And I, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's also shit like music done changed so much to, you know what I'm saying? You got to change with it. And I always been a music head, so... You know, so I'm not like the other niggas, man. I'm 26. You got niggas who like 23 and my 26, and they say stupid shit like they grew up listening to Tupac. I grew up off Tupac. Like, I grew up raised off Tupac. How the fuck was you raised off Tupac, nigga? You <laughs> fucking too young. Like, nigga, yeah. you, he was dead and gone. What you gonna do? Get his old shit and listen to it? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I, I mean, yeah, you could go back and listen to I it, mean, but, yeah, you, you, cool. didn't, but, but you didn't. But you didn't. They not seeing it. it, right? They yeah. seeing shit like, uh, uh, I was raised off Tupac. Like, man, if you were raised off Nick, man, you wasn't. This man was dead. Just say like, I grew up listening to Tupac. I used to yeah. go get this shit. You wasn't raised off of him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I like Tupac myself, but it's like I wasn't raised off of him. I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I, I came up off off of motherfuckers like, um, like motherfuckers like, like street. Daddy. I came up off motherfuckers like, uh, Treat Daddy. Motherfuckers like, um, goddamn, um, DMX. Motherfuckers like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Master P. These type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Soldier Slim. You know what I'm saying? Um, Power Wow. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. You know, whole Swiss out of whole Houston, H Town music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Zero. I, I came up out shit like that, but it's just yeah. I used to be kind of in and out. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? My favorite rapper, my favorite rapper, I always been Young Dro. You see what I'm saying? That's my really? favorite. Really, Young Dro. It's crazy. It trip a lot of people out because we yeah. rap nothing alike. We don't. Do and not nothing many. Alike. You know what I mean? I I never really heard someone say that was their favorite favorite yeah, that's, rapper. That's, like that's, that's I'd favorite. heard yeah, people Snoop put him in their top like five, that. but that's your. Wow. Yeah, that's that's my favorite rapper. Like, I, I love that nigga. Like, everything about that nigga. Like, he's so underrated, man. Like, he is, for sure. I mean, I ain't tripping because it's like... He, I was love, the first I to he was the first to rock the dad hat before anybody. Right, 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 right. But see, you know, like, it's crazy. In Texas, my favorite rappers in Texas was Pow Wow and Kiki. I used to okay. love them niggas, man. Yeah. But it's just like, you know... They had like Kiki kind of like had a slump like to the point where he didn't have enough music for me like, and he Man. probably did, bro. Probably did have enough music. You know what I'm saying? I know Kiki probably did, but it's like that social media one like it was today. You know what I'm saying? How you can jump online, put shit in, and hear shit that nobody ever heard, and just shit uploaded like. You know what I'm saying? So Kiki, like, and then you know what I'm saying? Like, Pow Wow, he kept music, he kept consistent music. I used to love that nigga, man, but it, you know what I'm saying? Like, did you get into Pow Wow after the Chameleon had split, or were you into it like. Nah, hell nah, I was into it when them, all them niggas was together. I'm talking about, yeah. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, like, Capital Freestyle, all that shit, hell yeah. Capital Freestyle, hell yeah, all right. I'm talking about, hell yeah, yeah. Capri, I'm talking about, all right. Hell, yeah, man, it's like, yeah, it's crazy. Shit. And then, like I say, I'm t it's crazy because I'm 26, and I, I know about all that shit, but the yeah. reason being, because I grew up fast. You see what I'm saying? Like, I love my mom. I'm 13, shit like that. Been locked up my whole life, so yeah. I've been around niggas who like I'm 13. I'm around niggas who like 19, 17. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? So I grew up fast. I was yeah. I was on to this shit. And it's yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Pow Wow went from goddamn me to he still rapping, but kind of slowed down on the rapping until yeah. business tip. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then I finally got to meet him. It, it, it's crazy. It fucked me up because that nigga been like my top five. You see what I'm saying? It fucks me up. It's in my top five, and I can call this nigga at will and talk to him on the phone. Like, big bro, I need you. Hey, big bro, yeah. look how you do. I got a whole video with this nigga, a whole song with this nigga. So that shit, like, yeah. that shit just, that shit feels so motherfucking good. He, he's, and then it's crazy because I'm looking at him, but when you meet him, the nigga is really how his music is. The nigga really thorough. He really he nice really too, yeah. Real. Like, yeah. I'm talking, he don't act like he's too good. He don't act cocky. Uh, none no, of this no, shit. No. I'm talking about, man, that nigga, man, say, man. Yeah. I, I met Kiki too. I never told Kiki. Uh, I He was one of my favorite rappers. I mean, I'm told Pow Wow, Pow Wow, no. Yeah, I'm, I go I'm, to saying, oh shit, he probably forget about it. He's like, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> you know about that nigga? I owe you here. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I'm on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But hey, yeah, I, I met Kiki, you know what I'm saying? Talk to Kiki for a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. Yeah, we trying, we gonna we're gonna get a little Kiki on the on the show soon. And we're yeah, gonna get man. Paul too. We talked to Paul, uh I, I met Paul a couple times and you're right, every time I met him, he down to earth, real nice, real cool, right. real, real, real humble guy. Um, always been, always been one hundred. 